Well, usually when patients have problems with asthma, allergies, sinusitis, and especially asthma, the typical conventional response is to give them medications to inhibit their immune system, namely steroids and pregnisone. Matter of fact, it's the first line treatment that's recommended to treat people with those types of problems. Apparently, must have, they must have created a name called Advair because it's a medicine called Cerevent and Pregnisone, so they don't, you don't know that there's steroids in that medication. It's a spray that works every 12 hours. What it does is it dilates your bronchioles, gives you a bunch of steroids that you get systemically absorbed, now, over time, you form less of your own steroids or cortisol that you need to fight off allergy. The best way is to get at the cause of the problem, use certain vitamins and nutrients, and you could shut off some of the allergic response and get people off some of these medications. I was on pregnisone 20 milligrams a day for two and a half years, so I know a lot about pregnisone, and that was for a type of joint pain and inflammation. But the bottom line is, get at the source of the problem, make your body more alkaline, and less acidic, and eliminate the foods and chemicals that act as triggers, and you can get people off these medications that cause all sorts of problems down the road. Well, they have sleep problems. You put someone on steroids, they wind up having insomnia, inability to get REM sleep. They wind up with fatigue and drops in blood sugar. They wind up with chronic yeast problems and immunosuppression. These people wind up getting colds more frequently, needing more and more antibiotics, all of which never gets at the cause of the problem, and then they get stuck on the medicines like I did. There's ways to get at the source of the problem and, and pick lower risk, high gain approaches than pick these steroids that have lots of systemic problems with it, thinning a bone, osteoporosis, and a whole range of problems.